Okay, this is a recap of the work we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. We finally succeeded in making this uh, live updating activities chart, looking back over all the span of activities in a given home. Uh, we decided to group the activities by month instead of day. We got um, each activity in the colors indicate the activity type. So you can see the trends over time of certain activity types. It's an interactive graph thanks to Plotly.js. So we can see trends in comparing subgroups of activities. It's pretty remarkable. And this would go back over all of the data. And our dummy data set is only a couple of months. Uh, but we tried this on some actual data going back a year, and it looks nice. Uh, the lines of code to get these uh, charts to work. Um, let's just reset that. Uh, not a lot required. Um, you get the data in the right shape. That's the the bulk of the work, actually. Uh, but once you have it, you can um, do some fi fine tuning. You create a trace for each of the categories here. Um, in our case, we're doing bar type tr traces, and the um, these naming conventions come from D3JS. But uh, the activity type is the key uh, for the top level, and then each day has a um, a date element that's been rounded to the start of the month uh, and then each value, in this case we're looking at activity count, we didn't do a toggle, we also have activity minutes but we decided the activity counts was more appropriate and we return each of those traces so then you'll have a trace for each of the categories uh, you set up a brief layout, we localize these but uh, the chart has a title and each axis can have a title the date is kind of self-explanatory but activity counts uh, these can be translated into multiple languages. Right now we support English and Suomi. Uh, we haven't done a translation around, so all the texts by default are English on the screen. Um, then also you can pass the locale into the chart. This is something that um, we had to struggle with a little bit last week, but the locale comes straight back from our localization engine, and it turns out that the same string um, is what Plotly uses to represent at least the finished locale, so we might need to switch if we introduce other languages. And essentially you um, attach a plot to a DOM element, in this case we created a div with this 